Here's just a quick follow-up video looking at the problems with the um, Hornby Hitachi 800. Um, there are only a few of them, um, the couplings being the main one and the body shell uh, sometimes fouling the wheels being the other. So if I take this coach here and turn it upside down, the wheels turn quite freely on this. But in packaging what can happen is this bit gets compressed down. It's probably not going to do it now because I want to show it. There we go. And you can hear that just pop down. In order to repair this problem or fix this problem, so we just pull the bogies up slightly. And just bounce on there. Pull these up. And there will be an audible click. I've actually already pulled these up now so that they move quite freely, as you can see there. And that will solve the first part of the problem. The second fix that I've found um, is for couplings. The main problem with the coupling is it doesn't have any flex up or down. So if you're going over um, a slope up or down it and you're going um, at the start of the incline, it tends to have a problem there, lifts up the middle of the carriage and pulls the wheels off. So what I've done is modify this coupling. As you can see, the coupling's still there, still held in place by the screw, but now what I have done is it's a bit hard to see but that is no longer governed by the drop-in to uh, this v-shape here i've actually cut that out completely and so that this doesn't slot backwards and forwards i've used a bit of glue just to hold this uh, near its shortest it can go so it can only slide in and out very slightly but now look it has the flex up and down so that when it goes over an incline, up or down it, it doesn't pull the whole train off. And also, I've tried this now around radius two curves on an incline using uh, the Bachmann polystyrene inclines, the 4% uh, incline, and it will go up a curve around there with no problem whatsoever. So that's two of the sort of largest problems with this model. Uh, solved. The final one that I'm going to be doing is replacing the interior lights with some brighter lighting so that the actual interior of the coaches is visible. Because when I took the body off, the seating detail is fantastic. Individual armrests, tables, everything. And I intend to put people inside mine to actually make it look like it's being used. And with the current lighting, you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to take that out and replace it with some brighter strip lighting using their existing stay alive system so that you don't get any flicker and I'll post that in a video soon as well.